Okay, Ziva Fuser. Okay, girl. High five. So I've been wanting to try this dryer for months now. Ta da! The claw. It's like a hand, and it has like all these little holes, which I hear is like for, you know, to get inside of the curls and to make it drier and it gives it like a 360 degree radius. It's it's like a science project. Normally, I would maybe diffuse, blow dry it a little bit, but that always causes the ends to open up and get kind of frizzy and then my roots are still really wet and it creates a weird looking situation. Honestly, I just use a microfiber towel, scrunch, 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 and keep it moving. Come on, Diva Curl, show me what you got. We got cold air, different settings. Can we begin? It's interesting because I feel like it's heat, but I don't feel like it's that, like the regular heat that I would get from a normal blow dryer. So far it isn't creating any frizz. It's hard to like fully have control of it because it's just so huge. I love this. It feels like it's drying fast, which is so crazy. Voila. What the Diva Curl promises is that it'll help eliminate frizz and also give you more volume in a short amount of time. And honestly, I do feel like there's a lot of volume in my hair. There are some pieces that are kind of more open and sort of frizzy than I would like, but that could 100% just be user error. Normal diffusers do not give my hair this lift up here that the Diva diffuser has. But it looks so moisturized and it looks so shiny and the diffuser has never given me that. It's ain't no advertisement. You know what I'm saying? They not sponsoring me. These are like some salon curls for real. I hear it's $175. <laughs> God damn! I feel like it might be worth it. I honestly do feel like that. I'd buy it if there was a sale. I'm like really happy to be leaving the house for work with my hair like this. Yay!